Oh yeah, quick improvement for me. So now I have to log the Smart Blinds account on how much we, they spend with DX. So what I do now is I categorize these uh, invoices for Smart Blinds. So when it comes to the end of the month and I have to go through it, I can search for it and search for categorize and just it'll pull up all Smart Blinds. Thank you. the table before. Well, let's have a little improvement. Um, I did have this here for back orders, um, which was helpful because uh, it was just getting scattered everywhere. But I didn't have a clipboard for my day-to-day -day orders, which, which, we, which we're doing on the day. So I just borrowed this off Ricky. Well, borrowed it permanently. So yeah, no more orders flying around and getting lost. Thank you. The pedal on the motor hoist. Before I wrote up and down, it used to be blank. Uh, it used to have a down arrow and an up arrow, but it started to fade away. So people would come over uh, and use a hoist, thinking this was uh, upside and that was a downside. So I've just written temporarily for now, down and up, which side's which. Um, and I've asked James to print some labels for me as well. Um, so this will be a lot more clear for when people want to use the hoist. Thank you. I've now got the labels for the pedal for the hoist, so I labelled over what I wrote earlier in my previous video and it just looks a lot more neater and tidier. Thank you. Another little improvement. This holder thing kept moving around along the desk and sometimes it would fall over um, on the edge just down there and I thought I'd just glue it to the desk but now it doesn't move at all. I can just put it in, it wouldn't be moving around everywhere, so thank you. Morning all, little improvement. Um, I realised that not everything here was labelled up when I thought it was. So my extra stock for for the standard covered bottom bars, the flush end caps and the round bottom bar end caps as well, I realised they weren't labelled up so I've just labelled them up now so everything here in regards to end caps should be labelled up now. Nice and neat. Thank you. Morning everybody. So this is all the tools here. Notice that we don't have a tape measure and sometimes it's kind of needed when I need to measure the bars to check if they're right or the fabric. So I just put some magnets there and just pop it on and now it's there at all times wherever I need it. Thank you. That's just a quick improvement. Uh, walk past this nearly every day for I don't know how long and uh, it's in a bit of a mess so two minutes there so you go just replace the corner with a metal one so we can um, don't have to worry about it now <laughs> swept out the cab and got rid of the rubbish and uh, yeah maybe paint up soon thank you hello folks just want to share a quick improvement put in place by uh, Wizard Ryan and um, so on the opportunities page if I scroll across we now have the nominal here which means that I can handily filter by nominal so for example if I want to follow up all my curtain track opportunities I can easily see all my curtain track opportunities I can see all the usual data and I can see that I'm almost up to date with them Thanks very much. Cheers, Ryan. Right, so a little improvement here. When I usually finish the roll and I wrap it back up, I put this bit across the top so we know um, what fabric is next time we use it. But the problem is with this, obviously every time I use it, I've got to take this off or rip it more to get it off. So as an improvement now, I'm going to put labels inside the roll in here because it's always going to be on this one piece of cardboard until the roll is finished. So I will need to take it off and put it back on every time. And sometimes when I've taken it off, it gets misplaced and then I have to write on there. So I have to write on there and for now, whenever I label it up, I'll label inside the room.